Have you ever pondered the significance of Jesus' baptism, an event that marked a critical turning point in his life? Let's delve into the depths of this pivotal moment. In the verdant wilderness along the Jordan River, a prophetic figure named John the Baptist emerged, his voice echoing through the valleys as he preached repentance and spiritual renewal. John's baptismal practice was a symbolic ritual, washing away sins in preparation for the imminent kingdom of God. One day, a figure approached John. It was none other than Jesus. This request for baptism was a moment of profound spiritual import, yet John hesitated, aware of Jesus' sinlessness. Nevertheless, Jesus insisted, revealing a profound truth in the process. As narrated in the book of Matthew, then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As Jesus emerged from the baptismal waters, a remarkable event unfolded. The heavens opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. This was no ordinary bird, but a divine affirmation of Jesus' identity and mission. A voice echoed from the heavens proclaiming, This is my Son, whom I love, with him I am well pleased. This baptism was far more than a simple immersion in water. It was a divine affirmation, a heavenly endorsement of Jesus' identity and mission. It signaled the beginning of his public ministry, a journey that would ultimately lead to the cross and resurrection. It was a powerful initiation, setting the stage for the trials, teachings, and triumphs that would follow. Thus, Jesus' baptism was not only a moment of divine affirmation, but also a powerful initiation of his public ministry. Let's continue to delve into the story as we explore the temptations that Jesus faced in the wilderness in the next scene. Following his baptism, Jesus was led into the wilderness. But why? What significance does this journey hold? His withdrawal into this desolate landscape wasn't simply a retreat, but a profound spiritual sojourn, a passage through isolation and testing that would culminate in the face-off with the devil himself. For 40 days and nights, Jesus fasted, engaging in a period of intense reflection and preparation. The wilderness, a place of solitude and challenge, set the stage for the three temptations that Jesus would face from Satan. The first temptation addressed the fundamental human yearning for sustenance. Satan taunted Jesus, challenging him to turn stones into bread. It was a test of Jesus' reliance on God's provision rather than worldly means. But Jesus, armed with spiritual strength, countered, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Next, Satan led Jesus to the pinnacle of the temple, tempting him to cast himself down. This was a direct challenge to Jesus' trust in God's protection. But again, Jesus stood firm, reminding Satan, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Finally, Satan offered Jesus all the kingdoms of the world in exchange for his worship. It was a test of Jesus' devotion to God's kingdom over earthly power. Yet Jesus was resolute, dismissing Satan with the words, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. These temptations were not just trials, but also insightful glimpses into the Messiah's role. Jesus, in his responses, underscored the importance of spiritual sustenance, trust in God's protection, and devotion to God's kingdom over worldly desires and power. Through his resistance to these temptations, Jesus demonstrated his unwavering commitment to his mission and his complete reliance on God. His experience in the wilderness was a testament to his readiness to embark on his messianic mission, fortified with spiritual strength and profound wisdom. So, what can we glean from these pivotal moments in Jesus' life? The baptism and temptation of Jesus underscore his unwavering commitment to his divine mission. His baptism by John, marked by the descent of the Holy Spirit and the divine affirmation of his sonship, served as a formal initiation of his public ministry. It was a vivid demonstration of his humility and his resolve to fulfill all righteousness. The temptation in the wilderness, on the other hand, was a test of Jesus' preparedness. As he fasted for 40 days and nights, he faced and overcame temptations that addressed the core aspects of human desires and the Messiah's role. His steadfast trust in God's provision, protection, and kingdom over worldly means and power 
exemplified his unwavering commitment to God. In understanding the significance of Jesus' baptism and temptation, we gain a deeper insight into his mission, his teachings, and the profound example he set for all of humanity.